Hey everybody, Chris from Six Wins, and I'm here with Matt. And if this is your first time watching us, we're here to break down the best WWE wrestler of all time. Now, it's not our choice. We put all of these matchups up to polls on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. So if you wanna vote, feel free to check us out on any of those, or if you wanna just come watch the videos because you like hearing these two idiots babble on about wrestling, Cool, sorry, I can only speak for myself. But we're actually in the sweet 16 of this thing, so we're getting some really, really, really good wrestlers. But here are the matchups. Number one seed, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus number five seed, five seed, five seed, Booker T. John Cena there. Yeah, I, I kinda did too. Uh, speaking of John Cena, he's in the second matchup we're breaking down. How about that segue? Yeah. Uh, John Cena, who was the number two seed versus it's funny to do this, and I feel like it's going to be Daniel Bryan. They're kind of similar. I think, yeah. So, yeah that's uh, uh, the Olympic gold medalist, number six seed, Kurt Angle. So, Austin versus Booker T, and Kurt Angle versus John Cena. We're here to give our thoughts. Yeah, before we talk about who we think should win, or who we would have voted for, or what we predicted, um, I'm going to ask Chris a little bit of a question here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to ask Chris to give his favorite three WrestleMania matches featuring any of these wrestlers that are in our matchups today. So you can look at any of Stone Cold's matches at Mania, any of Booker T's, any of Kurt Angle's, any of John Cena's, and pick your three personal favorite WrestleMania matches. This is a really good question. And my three favorites are probably, people are gonna boo them. So if oh. you're watching this, feel free yes. to leave a comment with your three favorite WrestleMania matches. I'm going right off the bat with controversy all the way. Okay. People I thought this cool. match shouldn't even have happened, but it was probably my favorite. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Kevin Owens, <laughs> yeah. WrestleMania 38. Okay. Simply because the entire match, my jaw was on the floor because I didn't realize what was happening. Start off a little slow. It's not a Dave Meltzer five-star match, sure. But it was just awesome. Yeah, it was, it was one of those things that was, we knew there was gonna be an interaction, mm -hmm. but nobody really knew any ex any had like any expectation. Are, the, are we just gonna get a stunner to Kevin Owens? Are we gonna get a short like squash match where you know Kevin Owens challenges him and Stone Cold's not gonna do it, and then he says, "Oh, what the hell!" He turns and stunners him really quick. The ref rings the bell and it's over. Mm -hmm. But we got something that I don't think anybody expected. So I mean, it was a really cool moment. Like you said, it's not gonna be like greatest match of all time category, but it's really cool. I think that's fair, but yeah, we might have some people that are like, come on, come, come on. on. We well, got two more chances. Okay, so <laughs> my next chance, I'll throw out another Austin match. Oh. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock. The Rock. WrestleMania 17. Mm. That's my personal favorite Austin Rock match. The ending never happened. There was never a heel turn. But even with the heel turn, it was like, you can't deny it was fun and exciting. Like at the time, if you were watching that match live, you were like, what the hell? What did we just see? I think JR said. Yeah. Um, but Austin Rock, it was like, a lot of people regarded as the best WrestleMania of all time. They were like two of the top superstars at the time going head to head. And it was, it was just a great match. Yeah. So that would be my number two. All right, are we gonna get three Austin matches here? What the hell? Let's do another Austin match. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Brett the Hitman. Oh. Right. WrestleMania 13, which a lot of people consider as like the beginning of the Austin era, mm -hmm. which I think JR officially said that after the WrestleMania 14 match against HBK, the Austin era has now begun. But this was kind of the beginning of like, badass stone cold like rocking it into the fourth dimension all right well nice top three uh like chris said it might be controversial if you guys think it is let him know and we'll we'll roast him in the comments but he had he, i think you had a good uh you know the bret hart austin one to balance out that kevin owens austin one yeah <laughs> and i'll say this if you didn't have a tremendous amount of fun during the stone cold ko match that means one of two things you're either the type of wrestling fan that we all hate and just complain about everything and just like, oh, I would have gone this way, they should have done that. Meanwhile, you Well, now we can talk about the matchups for the Sweet 16 to see who's moving on to the Elite Eight. Hell yeah. Who's getting their third win halfway home. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about Stone Cold and Booker T first? Or Kurt Angle and John Cena? I'll let you uh, lead it here. Let's do Stone Cold Booker T first because I probably have less to say about it. Yeah. Um, 
we were watching some of like old Stone Cold clips before we fired up the camera, and these two interacted quite a bit. Uh, early 2000s, when WCW Invasion came over and things kind of like stabilized, but the grocery store fight was so entertaining. Like I bet at the time they didn't know what like how iconic it would be, and you know we're watching it back, you know, 20 plus years later. It was so fun. Yeah. Um, Booker T's a legend, no doubt. Love seeing him return at Royal Rumble 2023. I think I heard that that was going to be like his last appearance. But if we're talking who's the better WWE superstar, give me Stone Cold all day. Okay. I would I would take Stone Cold too. Even even if you're talking like in ring ability, I, I, if Booker T's a little bit better, I don't know if it's by much. Mm -hmm. It's really close. And then Stone Cold kind of. Has a has a bit of an edge on all the other aspects, so I would go Stone Cold too. I expected Stone Cold to win. I don't think either of us expected Booker T to necessarily necessarily make it here. No. I mean, he was in a bit of a trap match in that first round against Drew McIntyre, who's mm -hmm. very popular now. Um, and then he was going up against Ultimate Warrior, and I mean, Booker T definitely, like we said, is a, a great superstar and has a great career. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a little surprising that he got here. So awesome for that Hell yeah. but yeah I, I anticipated stone cold to win this one yeah and when we put it up to vote um reminder twitter tiktok instagram youtube uh stone cold did win it wasn't particularly close but i was really happy to see booker t in the sweet 16 yeah place. and the next matchup which whew, this was a juicy one this is where john cena the john cena started his career john cena two seed kurt angle six seed and what are your thoughts on Kurt Angle versus Cena, man? This is, yeah. this is really good. It's, it's going to be hard for me to separate some of my bias because there were a f quite a few years where I was definitely in that camp of like over Cena. I just wanted somebody else to get a run. I didn't want his um, interactions or his feuds to play out the same way as they always had, which I described before. He gets the better of him in like the three weeks leading up to the pay-per-view. Mm -hmm by tricky means or by a DQ as he's about to lose, by manager interference, and then Cena when all is said and done comes away and it's just like very, it was very predictable right. and unexciting. Super Cena. Um, he also for a few years had a very, like, I don't know of again if it was just how WWE was operating at the time with like, wrestlers were given like limited move sets or like a lot of moves were being taken off the table for being used. Um, and Cena was, you know, known for his five, five moves that said about him. Again, unless like he was in a time where they forced him just to use ankle lock, suplex, ankle slam, which I wouldn't doubt. Um, but Angle, like looking back and going through this bracket, Angle, man, I really come to appreciate Angle even more. I, you know, we both know he's a tremendous wrestler, tremendous superstar, because mm -hmm. not only is he great in ring, he's a great talker, great promo guy can be a champion and, and, and do things like that. So I, again, I think this is personal bias speaking a little bit, but I would pick Kurt Angle as the better WWE superstar based, uh, yeah, not based on success, I guess, because the only, that's the thing. John Cena's success that he's had is the one, one thing you can argue for him almost over anybody, mm -hmm. that he's the best WWE superstar of all time because everybody else saw him that way and they put him there. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Oh my gosh. Uh, Kurt Angle, no one has taken to the business quite like Kurt Angle. He came in and he was just such a good heel. Just that cocky heel. And from the moment he picked up a mic, it was just like, oh, I hate this guy. But you love to hate him. And I hope they go in that, like, like Gable, like Chad Gable has all of the makings of Kurt Angle. Yeah. And I just, they've been using him, but I just want them to take him to the next level. Because what Kurt Angle had... What they had with Kurt Angle, what they're not doing with Chad Gable, is just like, you hate him, he's kind of a pipsqueak, <laughs> but Angle won. Yeah. He was like, a, he was a joke and a badass all at the same time. Like, he won matches, like, they booked him strong. But I was reminded of how awesome Cena is when it was Money in the Bank 2021. Reigns was champ for over a year at that time. They had just entered like arenas again with people and my God, so Cena and just like how long he carried the company for. It's so hard and, I, and I'm and i looking, I'm like, man, I wish we had put Angle higher. 
like angle at a six oh, seed. Yeah. Angle at a six seed seems silly to me. Now looking back, like to me, he should be over a Bruno. He should be over a Bret Hart. He should be over a Randy Orton. He was like that good. He checked all those boxes. Having said all that, my vote's for Cena. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, we're split. Sometimes we're split. Sometimes and we're split. even if we agreed, like I said, it doesn't really matter what we think because you guys get to vote. So how did everybody else vote? for who is the better WWE superstar between John Cena and Kurt Angle. When we tallied all the numbers, and it was pretty close, much closer than Austin Booker T, the winner of John Cena versus Kurt Angle, John Cena. John Cena! <laughs> so, what a crazy Elite Eight matchup we have. Stone Cold Steve Austin, number one seed, versus John Cena, number two seed. 